I'm Nader Sami. I'm one of the um, advisory board members for Resource Pro. And my background is I founded a company called Ajuba International, which is one of the largest uh, healthcare revenue cycle outsourcing companies with its primary um, operations in India. Okay, my name is Warren McFarlane. I've been a long-term member of the Harvard Business School faculty since the mid-1960s. Uh, my work has always been in the field of information technology and since 1973 uh, on the international aspects of it. I serve today on the faculty of Tsinghua University in Beijing. My name is Jeff Walter and I am in charge of the corporate university for Great American Insurance Company and the American Financial Group. Hi, I'm Jack Dalal. I'm, uh, I have my own consulting company, uh, Jay Dalal Associates. Uh, I'm also uh, managing director of thought leadership for International Association of Outsourcing Professionals. That has given me really access and knowledge of what's going on in the outsourcing industry. So when Dan and David and others asked me to join Resource Pros Board of Advisors, I think it was, I felt very good that uh, it was a natural extension of what I can bring to Resource Pro and at the same time learn something about a BPO company in China. Uh, I've got a lot of experience with a lot of different uh, companies uh, around the globe uh, in different countries. Uh, just did not have enough experience with the companies that operate out of China. So I felt that there would be a great learning experience for me. And it's proven that, that I've learned quite a bit about both the insurance industry, I've learned quite a bit about China and the China processing, uh, how Resource Pro is operating uh, with it. Uh, Resource Pro has an unbelievable management team. Uh, Dan and, and Matt, <coughs> David and the rest of the team are thorough and do an unbelievable job of uh, thinking about the business, thinking strategically for the size company that they are. Um, they are very uh, cutting edge, forward thinking, and, and always pushing the envelope to, to make sure that they're continuing to evolve and improve the business. And, and that's rare, and it is one of the reasons why, one of the key reasons why I'm convinced this company is gonna be a huge success. Uh, this company, I think, is one of the most exciting firms in the world right now today that outsourcing has been a major focus of mine uh, since 1989 and international outsourcing uh, during the 1990s and the first part of 2000 was heavily you know, focused in India. Uh, what I find here at Resource Pro is an extraordinary group of nearly a thousand people working on the English uh, you know, Chinese you know, interface. I look at the growth of the company. It's been absolutely extraordinary. Uh, we spent uh, all day today worrying about margins, but I always look very much at the top line, and the company's been growing some 35 to 40 percent uh, per year in a really, I think, unusual and very important uh, business uh, uh, concept. It's an exciting area. It's an exciting area for a couple of reasons. One is that I believe that the market for insurance back office processing is vast. There's a great opportunity for Resource Pro to really go and fertilize and really grow that market because it's very fragmented and there are opportunities there. And it's great to be part of a company at the early stage and help with my knowledge and with my experience and with my, uh, if you will, the wisdom. Uh, to help shape where they go, how they go, and then watch them grow. I mean, there's nothing more delightful than being able to watch someone uh, grow, and I really think that the Resource Pro will do that. My connection to Resource Pro is this. Distinguished Program Groups in New York writes a lot of business for Great American, and as part of that partnership, I come to China, to Resource Pro, to teach classes here at the Resource Pro University. Um, I teach customer service, time management, and a whole series of leadership classes to all of their management team here. I first came in 2007. They had 100 employees and 30 clients. 
Today, in 2010, they have 105 clients and they have over 800 employees. So the growth is phenomenal. Uh, I like coming back to Resource Pro because the people are really, really good, hard workers. They're extremely nice, um, high ethics, uh, and they're focused on their customers. Their customer focus is phenomenal. And I'm treated like royalty when I'm here. I shouldn't be, but I am. And so uh, I like returning each year. This is my eighth trip to Qingdao, to Resource Pro, in the last four years. I try and come every two, uh, twice a year, usually two to three weeks. I've found Resource Pro to be very focused on excellent service, uh, great quality of service. Uh, their customers are their number one priority. And I've seen the company grow over the last four years eight times um, with new clients and new employees. And each time I come back, I have a new group of leaders and employees to teach. I think that when uh, I look at the operations in Chandao, what uh, first captures my attention is its extraordinary growth and the incredible you know, energy of the young workforce, that uh, the ability to be able to put together a world-class English-speaking uh, resource in the city of Chengdu absolutely caught my attention. When I was first asked to join the Board of Advisors and I was told what the company did, I said it is absolutely impossible uh, and I don't think it's going to work. I was absolutely, you know, totally wrong that the uh, uh, growth of the company, I look in the next uh, five to six years to probably at least uh, double and probably you know, double again. It's a remarkable concept where basically it's building a very different kind of bridge across the Pacific Ocean than what uh, is currently existing. In terms of uh, the China team, I had the opportunity to meet um, some of the managers this summer at a, at a board meeting in New York and I was very impressed uh, with, with each of them. Great uh, kind of command of the business, great command of, of English, um, seem to do a great job in terms of running the business. Uh, so we just, I just got to here, here to China, to Qingdao last night and it's my first trip to India, I'm sorry, first trip to China, I've been to India many times and I'm blown away by it, it's, uh, it's beautiful. I've, uh, I've, my experience again being from India and, and China is, is fascinating, um, is, uh, it's beautiful. The, the buildings here, the people, um, and then obviously we spent the entire day at the operation today and, uh, and, and it was a, a great experience and, and great for me to be able to see it and just further reinforce my beliefs that uh, the company is, is uh, well poised for uh, great success and is, is uh, you know, off to the races. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be in China. Uh, China itself has uh, absolutely amazed me. Uh, I was here 16 years ago and uh, saw a different China. And this visit has clearly shown that China is a powerhouse. China is a great location for companies to think about uh, uh, having some processing work done. There are uh, very few disadvantages that I can see that China has to offer as a a viable option for companies versus uh, even India. So I think uh, there is a great future for China outsourcing, there is a terrific future for Resource Pro outsourcing, and uh, it's a pleasure to be a part of both. A couple, of, a couple of other things about Resource Pro that you should be interested in knowing. Their focus on e the English language is very, very good. They have an English department and they spend a lot of time focusing on their English, their pronunciation, their diction. Um, my family's come over the last two summers to teach English over here. They're college professors and so they're invited to come over by Resource Pro to help out with the English. Uh, the other thing that they focus a lot on is insurance. They spend a lot of time learning about the insurance products that they're processing. Great American sends people over. We've sent uh, a number of people over to teach insurance classes over here. 
And then once or twice a year, we run a three-week insurance program on all kinds of insurance topics. And I invite Resource Pro. They usually send four managers for each class, and they spend almost a month at Great American learning the insurance products uh, and the insurance topics. So they're eager to learn, they're hungry for English, and they're hungry for insurance, and they're definitely hungry for how do they service their customers better. And so that's one thing that I help them with is how to give outstanding customer service. The company is also, in, I think the industry itself is, is very interesting. Um, competition at this point is there, but uh, somewhat limited. And, and the company has done a great job of putting itself well ahead of the curve uh, of everyone else and is, and is capitalizing on that. So that's, uh, you know, that's been very impressive and, and really um, very thorough in terms of how they think about sales, how they think about client integration. Uh, and again, really put a lot of time, effort, and thought into that, which is, which is great and uh, incredibly valuable and I think will reap, reap great benefits in the near term. I think probably one of the biggest reason Resource Pro is well positioned is the knowledge of the industry. I think uh, insurance is in your DNA. Insurance is in the DNA of the people that you recruit and train. Uh, I was extremely impressed today with the the entire HR organization and how people are onboarded and trained. And, and at the same time, I really didn't see anything that I would consider to be a negative uh, or a concern. Uh, some companies uh, would claim that going to China would create a language problem. I just don't see that. Uh, I haven't had any issue whatsoever in uh, communicating. Uh, and, and, and culturally, um, I, I think the, um, the operation in China, you know, it felt very much like a family. It felt like people enjoyed being there. Um, you know, Matt's obviously done a great job of cultivating, um, you know, that, that feeling and that energy. And, and uh, you know, everyone seemed to enjoy working with each other and enjoy being at work. And, and um, like I said, ultimately, you know, felt felt like a family, which again is really important and will, will help with um, you know, the, the challenges that, that any growing business uh, in, in China or in India is, is going to face with respect to attrition. So um, I think that was, that was uh, particularly noticeable as well. I think that uh, one of the you know, really you know, interesting things is going to be as to how the, the company has started with a brand new workforce. Uh, coming heavily right out of university. I think the average age now is about you know, 26 years old and there's been a heavy focus on trying to work together as a team. I look for the next uh, five to six years, it's going to be the company's ability uh, to take ever more complicated clients and ever more complicated kinds of uh, assignments that uh, I look at the United States that a, uh, a company whose average age is 26 years old, that's sort of like the class, first year class of the Harvard Business School. Uh, this is not the first year class of the Harvard Business School. This is a very exciting, you know, dynamic group. Uh, the only thing that really did worry me a lot today was the notion that we had to do calisthenics in the middle of the afternoon. And a 73-year-old body uh, felt it was moving just a little slowly in relation to the 25 and 26-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs>